G'day guys, how are we going? Well, I've just spent the night camped up beside the Dago River. I've got the sun coming down the mountains behind me. It's woken up to a really crisp morning. It's going to be a cracking day. And what better way to get this day started than cooking up one of Batesy's dampers in the camp oven on the campfire. So we'll get into it and I'll show you how I make it. Right, so this damper recipe I'm about to show you here that I'm going to make up for, for brekkie this morning, this is a recipe that I've been making for over 45 years. I, I learned to make the old damper way back when I was in the Cubs as a wee young lad. And uh, back in those days, we didn't use the camp oven though to cook it up in. Uh, we used to wrap it around a green stick and hold that in the fire and, and then cook the, uh, the damper wrapped around a stick that way. And then you take it off the stick and fill up with jam and cream and just absolutely beautiful. But we're still gonna use jam and cream today, but we'll show you that a bit later on. So to get started with this, all I use is uh, three cups of self-raising flour. Sort of measure it out a bit, you know, get, try and get it pretty close. Yep, yeah, bit messy here, but that's gonna have to, how it's gonna have to be. So one of those. Here we go. Two. This little cup with me, it's been with me for a long time, so I keep using this as the same measuring device. But look, you can put whatever you want in a damper, but this is, I'd make a pretty traditional one. So that's the three there. So I put the flour aside. And then from there, the next bit is, um, is get some, some butter. Now this is good old Western Star, it's a, it's a great butter. Don't use, I don't use margarine like that, I like to use the butter. And I use to put a, a good, you know, tablespoon of butter in the in the mix so that's got to go in first right and then you've got to bind that up and really mix it up really really well into mix it up in all the in the self-raising flour so you just got to get this butter and you just got to mix mix it into the flour really really well so that way take all the lumps out of it and then it just mixes in really nicely and it'll melt all through the through the damper when it eventually goes into the camp oven but this just adds a bit of flavor and binds it all up it's get your hands into it it's great <laughs> so I finished mixing that up like so that's all good there the hands a bit of a shake off and then from there I add a bit of sugar into it just a couple of teaspoons just to add a bit of bit of sweetener to it probably about three of those that's all good and then the only thing that I add extra that I've from when the damper I was making way back in my cub days, is I put some sultanas in it. So I mix those in, just to make a bit of a fruit loaf out of it. Whoop, couple fell out there. And just mix all that in before the liquid starts to go in. So just mix all them in. But look, you can put whatever you want in it. You know, it's, it's up to you, your own imagination on what you want to put in your damper. But this is just one I like. It's pretty traditional sort of style damper. But uh, as I say, the only added thing was chuck a few sultanas in it. Right, uh, that's all good there. Give the hands another bit of a shake off. And then from there, I just add the liquid, liquid to it. So it's just half a cup of water and half a cup of, of milk. Righto, pick that in there. And then half a cup of full cream milk too, by the way it is. And again, you can use whatever milk you want. So just half a cup of that. Here we go, put that aside, don't need that anymore. Now for this first bit, rather than just get my hands in here because it's very, very messy, so I just grab the spoon and I mix it up with the spoon just for this first bit. Seems to work pretty well just to get all that liquid all sort of mixed in there and get most of the flour taken up before it goes into the camp oven. Righto, look at that, that's starting to look pretty all right now. Pretty good, just to take that liquid up, just get the most of it done with with a spoon, otherwise it's gonna get really messy on your hands. So just get that off there. Just grab a bit of flour and just sprinkle it over your hands. It just helps for the damper to stop sticking to your hands and make it a bit easier to mix up. That's looking really good. Not dry and tacky. Absolutely looking fantastic. That's looking great. And from there, we're ready 
to go down the camp oven. Now I've got the camp oven, it's been preheated, so I've got that nice and warmed up. It's like anything you cook at home, same in the oven, you know, you don't ever put a meal straight in the oven and cook it up from a cold oven. You always bring the ovens up to, up to temperature for where you want them. It's exactly the same with cooking anything on the camp oven. Always preheat them before you put your food in. But that's looking fantastic. Right, we'll go down here. Just get my damper out of, out of the fire here that I've been preheating there for a while. I'll just get the lid off it. Here we go. Now, let's flatten that out a bit. There we go, look at that. So I just drop that in there like so. Flatten him out. And then what I do, I get a knife and I put a cut across into the top of it. And, um, and that way, it, when it cooks up, it'll all peel out into four nice even sections. But you'll see what I mean when we cook it up. So I just get across and cut that across there like so. And that is now ready to go in the fire. Get the lid back on that. Now I'll just get my shovel, grab some coals, get the base all ready. Keep coals on the top and be ready to cook up. Okay, so grab some coals out of the fire. Just put a couple down for you to keep the base all nice and warm. Sit that on there like that. And then a good dose of coals on the lid. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Now that will take about, oh, I'll give it 20, 25 minutes. We'll come back and we'll check it then. Well, let's check this out and uh, see how it looks. I can smell it, it smells pretty good. <laughs> let's get all the coals off the top before you go open that lid, because be nothing worse taking that lid off and it all tips up inside your beautiful damper. So clean all the coals off first, give it a good shake. Make sure there's no dust gonna get in there. Let's lift that lid and let's have a look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now, the best way to check to make sure if a damper's ready, have a look at that, is put a knife in it. And as long as it comes out dry without anything sticking to it, Generally, tells you, it's pretty good. That looks absolutely amazing. It's gonna be a great way to start the morning off. Right, let's lift this out. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You see the four crosses that are, that I, that I cross that I put in the top there? Just spreads it open, makes four nice even pieces. Absolutely beautiful. So, let's crush that open like so. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All it needs now, a bit of jam and cream. It'll be absolutely spot on. So I'll grab some of that. A bit of jam. A bit of cream. Grab a piece out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> bit of jam first. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is absolutely magnificent. Have a go at that. Boatsy's 45 year old traditional, pretty much traditional style damper recipe. Still works an absolute treat. Absolutely magnificent. But look, I'd be really interested to know what you guys put inside your dampers when you cook them in the camp oven on the, on the open fire. So chuck them in the comments below because I'd be really interested to see what everyone else does. But in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna grab myself a cuppa and fair chance, I'll see you guys out in the bush someday. Good on ya, catch you later on. <laughs>